Now, today I'm going to work uh, on the face some more. I am going to do a female, but uh, and I've decided I was thinking about that this morning as I lay in bed. Exactly how am I going to do that? And I think I know what I'm going to do. So. Time to play with some clay. All right, I don't like his mouth at all. I'm really not in the mood sculpting today, but I'm gonna try it and see how far I get. What I'm doing is trying to coach a story out of the face, and uh, not sure where it's going to go yet. I had a kind of a idea pass through my brain this morning as I lay half asleep in bed. What I wanted to do. And I think I still might do it. I, what I'm thinking of is... Are two pioneers who... Lost loved ones or lost their spouses. And... Uh, I'm thinking about having the woman... <coughs> with her head up next to his head here which means I'm going to have to redo the armature for the woman but that's later and I'm thinking about the title of The Widow and the Widower um, and it's, it's just something that was going through my head I don't know why that was going through my head but there were people on wagon trains who lost their spouses because being on a wagon train was was uh, a very hard time uh, as far as travel goes. Um, they really had to survive the cold, the, the the rain, the mud, the the lack of food, and the lack of water, and and. Uh, and sometimes sickness would go through a, a train uh, because of the close proximity of everybody, uh, because of the uh, the fact that they couldn't take baths every day. So they had a lot of germs caused by just living, uh, you know, and surviving. And so I'm thinking about doing a young man or a young man, a uh, middle-aged man. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And it's, I don't even know if I like the idea yet. But uh, the, the, the title, The Widow and the Widower, kept going through my head. And uh, so I'm thinking about something like that. But anyway, I don't know. I'm just playing with different ideas. All right, I got the, I'm going to change the light a little bit so I can see the tech, the, the shadows a little bit better. And I can see right now I got to do some changing here. That's really what a sculptor does is he moves shadows around. 
and that's what uh, you have to have a good good light source above what you're working on Okay, I'm going to start the breastbone. You have to have the part of the anatomy that the uh, neck muscles attached to. I'm not going to talk much now because I got to concentrate on what I'm doing. But I'm going to just start adding muscles to his neck. Not one by one, but just forming his neck. You wouldn't see every muscle in the neck. Unless he's really strained and he's not strained, he's relaxed. try something here do a little experimenting a lot of them would wear whiskers at some point not necessarily the way we wear them today but some people wear them like this and I'm thinking it might be interesting See how when I move that neck over, I mean his head over, the wrinkles I made even became more wrinkly, which works really well. I'm thinking just having whiskers maybe underneath his chin, along his jawline. Just to give them a little more character. Like I said, you can just have fun sculpting. You can just make a whole different personality. What was popular in the 1850s and 60s was chin whiskers. Just plotting them in. I'm not worried about every hair. Just giving it kind of a. Just letting my eye place it till it looks just about right. I kind of like that. All right, uh, this is how far I've gotten today. It's not a long, not a real far, but uh, I've got some nice stuff going on, like uh, wrinkles in his neck here. And I'm not going to give him real long hair, but I'm going to give him some hair. And I'm also thinking about putting a hat on him and uh, just add just a little more character to it.
that'll be next time. Again, this is uh, for an instructional video on doing a uh, man and a woman bust. And I'm thinking about having the woman up against his chest and her, her head up against his head here somehow. Um, I'm thinking of calling it to, uh, a title. I've, it was something, a title that I came up with this morning while laying in bed. I was thinking about what I was going to do with this piece. Um, I wanted to make it unique. And uh, I, I was thinking of my great-great-grandfather who uh, came out west in the 1840s. He uh, was driven out of Nauvoo by mobs because of his religion and uh, because of the city that he lived in. And uh, his name was Alfred Harper. My my grandfather's name is uh, Harold Harper Lemon, reflecting my grandfather's name, my great great grandfather's name. He uh, was a wheelwright and built wagons for the pioneers to come out west. And uh, he was a I think he was a company commander or something like I don't know exactly how they did it, but uh, all these people were new to uh, surviving on the prairie and uh, starting out a new life in a desert, which they ended up in. And they had to be tough. But I'm not doing my grandfather. I'm just saying I did. I, got me thinking about it and I know that sometimes spouses would pass die in, on a trail and, uh, and I'm thinking about a man and a woman who's lost their spouses entitling this uh, the widow and the widower just thinking I'm just not sure what I'm going to do yet but uh, I think I could get a lot of emotion in the faces of both of them. Um, anyway, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. And uh, I'll pick this up next time. Good night, everybody. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.